we kind of took what Sturgeon City already has um, set up with all the marine biology, oceanography stuff, and then we added some human sciences and some animal sciences like livestock. In the class we've done a lot of what really happens on the inside of bodies and how chickens develop in the egg and what's in an egg. Um, we've talked about organ systems. We made a model of a brain today. We made models of the skeleton yesterday. So it's like in the classroom and then out here we've done, we went out on the canoe, collected trash, we um, did fin fish assessment. So they took nets up on the shore and out in the, uh, out in the bay of fish and what different types of organisms are out there and close to shore. And then right now behind us they're doing benthic sampling, which is they, they get a whole bunch of mud and then they sift through it to see what type of small microorganisms they can find. Like school you're more sitting down and textbook stuff, but like here they're like connecting science and life together. And we're very diverse students, like meeting new people especially. <laughs> and um, just like working together, it's a lot of fun and it's all hands on. Today our students are getting a taste of crime scene investigations. So um, Officer Wagner was nice enough to brief them on the importance of preserving evidence and the importance of not tampering with evidence along with how do we document it, how we photograph it, and the last part would be how do we collect it. Open your door and step out of the vehicle. We learn like how to approach a car in, in the classroom part. We learn how to approach a car and, and to be safe and not come up like because he might have a gun or something. We learn how to be safe. I've learned over the years that a lot of people fear the police more than they should respect them. And I think that it's a really good idea to learn about how who really protects us at, in our own country. My name is Bernie Rossage and I'm an artist instructor and I'm working with the Art Institute at Sturgeon City and I got a fine bunch of kids out here today. I shouldn't say kids, they're high school students. I chose the Art Institute because um, it's something that I really enjoy, it's something that I like doing in my spare time um, and it's really fun, you get to meet a lot of people, get to go outdoors. Right now we are uh, plein air painting which is like uh, painting outdoors, painting what you see. Um, so right now we're painting the Freedom Fountain outside of City Hall. So a lot of times when you come outside to paint plein air, you've got all this around you and it can be overwhelming. So it's teaching them editing skills. And it's definitely difficult because the fountain's always moving. Like you can't just have one still frame where you can get like every little detail. You have to get the general uh, look of the fountain, um, not just like one little frame because there's no way you can remember that frame when you're painting the whole thing. We are using a robotic platform called VEX which is something that's used in a lot of international competitions um, to basically show the students how robots work. The first two days we built a robot based off instructions we had gotten off the internet and then from then we decided to build a robot that would climb stairs based off our own thinking and creativity. So we didn't have instructions to build the robot, we had to come up with it ourselves. Um, the robots that we're using are not autonomous. They're actually being controlled by handheld receivers that are very much like the video game receivers. The coolest thing about you know Sturgeon City and working in this type of program is that it's a 100% lab time. You know, engineering's fun, but when you're teaching it in school and in class, half of it's math. At Sturgeon City, it's all lab time, so we're always building, always putting stuff together. It's a lot of fun being here. Mr. Smith's a great instructor. He makes it fun. As soon as you start hearing the little whir of the motors, you know, and the kids are like, wow, it works! You know, I mean, that's what you're kind of going for as a teacher in general, you know, especially in engineering, is that wow, it works moment. Wow, I, I did that, you know, wow, I succeeded. And when you get one little success after another in a program like this, you know these 
kids are going to go back to their schools and they're going to say, I want to take an engineering class. That was really fun working with those robots. I want to see what that's like. I want to go to the next level.